Alex of Alex's English class. Today I'm going to introduce you a book called The Twits by Roald Dahl. Mr. Twit was a very hairy man and uh, he liked to eat food, but how much he tried to actually make his mouth uh, as big as he can, but even though he did that, the food always sticked to his hair. So if you probably use a microscope to see what's in the hairs of uh, Mr. Twit, you'll probably see a lot of food. Miss Twit thought of too many ugly thoughts that she became ugly. First, she was actually very beautiful, but she dissed the ugly thoughts and became ugly. And so, one day, Miss Twit put her glass eye into the beer of Mr. Twit. And when he drank all the beer, he saw the glass eye looking at him, and he was very much surprised. To pay back this glass eye trick, he put a frog in Miss Twit's bed and also surprised Miss Twit. Now, Miss Twit wanted to pay back this and put worms in Mr. Twit's spaghetti. But now, Mr. Twit made up a very nasty trick to pay this back. Every day, he put a little piece of wood onto Miss Twit's walking stick. And it was too small amount of change that even Miss Twit didn't know. And now, the walking stick was the size of her shoulder. And Mr. Twit said that she had the shrinks. The shrinks is uh, when your head goes into your neck and your neck into your body, your body into your legs, your legs into your feet, and then your feet into nothing. There's nothing left. And so to stretch her, Mr. Twit put strings on her wrist and some balloons like this and some string on her legs and it's like stretching like this. And Mr. Twit cut the string on Miss Twit's feet. And now she was ballooning up, but she bit on some of the strings, and then she started to come down, and then she crashed into Mr. Twit. But now let's stop saying about these tricks and talk about their garden. Their garden had four monkeys in a cage and a tree where they always put glue on it, the strongest glue in the world. And when the birds came, they stuck onto the tree. And so Mr. Twit ate them with Miss Twit always on Wednesday. It was bird pie. But a Rolly Polly bird came and told the birds to not go to the tree and onto the cage of the monkeys. But then Mr. Twit put the glue on the cage so they went to the rooftop. So Mr. Twit and Miss Twit decided to buy guns to actually shoot them. But the Rolly Polly bird opened the cage by giving the monkeys the key and then the animals started to start their plan. The uh, monkeys um, suggested to make Mr. Twit and Miss Twit upside down. They used the strongest glue in the world and made all the furnitures, carpets, and all upside down.
When Mr. Twit and Miss Twit came, they started to put their heads on the floor and their feet in the air. And they did it for so long that they got the real shrinks, not the fake. Their head turned into the, their neck. Their neck shrinked into their body. Their body shrinked into their legs. And their legs shrinked into their feet. And then their feet shrinks into nothing. There was no trace of Mr. Twit and Miss Twit. And the animals all escaped. And all was left was two pairs of clothes, two pairs of shoes, and a walking stick. Okay, today I introduced you the book, The Twits by Roald Dahl. And next time I'll come with a different book. Bye-bye.